In this video, we're talking about lift kits and specifically how much lift kits take to install. I'm gonna give you the price of the lift kit and also the price of the install. All the lifts that we're gonna be talking about is by Rough Country because Rough Country is the only lifts that I put in my Jeep. And if you guys are looking for the best quality for the best price, definitely go with Rough Country. I got some links down below if you guys wanna check out some of their lifts. And yes, this video is good for JK models and JL models. So I'm gonna be talking about both, giving you the price of both. I spent several hours yesterday calling different garages. Please hold for your next available representative. So two and a half with the uh, with the coil springs and the shots. Now uh, the install on that is 460 plus the alignment is another 59.95. So. so you guys should be able to get a pretty good idea of what lift kits take to install. Even if you don't have a rough country lift, I'm sure this video will help you out. If you have you know a TerraFlex or you know something like that, this video is for sure gonna give you on the right track of how much you know to budget to put in your lift kit. So if you guys find this video at all helpful, make sure you smash that like button. Let's get into it. So I'll start with the cheapest option. This is what I did last time. And if you guys are daily drivers and you don't really off-road your Jeep that much, this is the perfect option for you because the lift kit itself, it's only $199 for the JLs and $159 for the JK model, so the older model. The installation cost to this kit, which is just kind of a spacer lift, is between $200 and $400. So right in that range, I wouldn't pay more than $400 for someone to put it in. I wouldn't pay, you know, yeah, I would pay less. <laughs> But yeah, super easy lift to put in. You know, you don't get the upgraded coils or the shocks. So you're gonna be on that stock suspension. So it's gonna be a little bit rough, but you guys can throw on some 35 inch tires. And if you guys don't mind kind of a bumpy ride, this is definitely the lift kit for you guys. Now, if you guys want a smoother ride and an install that really isn't that hard either, I would go with a 2.5 inch with the upgraded shocks and the coils. For the JL models, it's $479, and for the JK models, it's $450. The install for this is right between $350 and $500. So if you guys have 35s, it's the perfect ride to get both, you know, the smooth ride on the highway, and you know, you, can, you guys can take it off-roading, and it's also still a pretty cheap price. So now I'm going to be talking to the people who want to throw on some 37-inch tires on their Jeep, like my Jeep right now. If you guys want to do that the cheapest way possible, um, it may still rub a little bit, but you guys can get away with a 3.5 inch lift. It's not going to be exactly perfect. It's going to rub when you turn it all the way, depending, you know, you can prevent that if you get some, maybe some spacers and maybe some different fenders, or you can get it to where it doesn't rub with 3.5s. So the JL price for the 3.5 is $699 and for the JK, it's $529. But the price does go up a lot on the install because you have that control arm drop. So I found that anything under a $900 install for this lift kit is gonna be a good price. So try not to pay more than 900 bucks or maybe a thousand bucks. But yeah, you're definitely looking right around that 900, 800 area for the install. Now, if you guys want the ultimate setup for 37s, you guys can get a four inch lift. That's what I have on my Jeep right now. The lift kit itself is pretty expensive because you literally replace pretty much the whole entire suspension system. It's a long arm lift kit, so it's gonna be the smoothest ride you can get on the highway. And it's gonna be great for off-roading, great clearance. But this lift kit does cost $2,500 for the JL models or $2,000 for the JK models. So if you guys are looking for the ultimate setup, this is definitely the lift kit to go with. And the six inch and the four inch are the same exact price. If you guys want it super high, you guys can spend the same amount of money and it's around the same install for the six inch lift. Now there might be other issues and stuff that you might run into going up six inches. You might have to do some other stuff. I'm not sure because I didn't do that with my Jeep. I went with a four inch. And honestly, I think aesthetically, I think the four inch with 37s just looks absolutely perfect and there's no need to go to the six inch. But I know a lot of you guys like your Jeeps super high, so the six inch wouldn't be a bad option. I just don't know the ins and outs, you know, just the strain of the Jeep of having it that high. I don't know the ins and outs about that. I just can talk about my four inch lift but the install for this one is gonna be between $1,500 and $2,000. So if you can find a legit garage to install it for under $1,500, do it because that's a really good price. And this is a lift kit that you really, you know, you can't just have a buddy who, you know, does a mechanical work every now and then. You have to have kind of uh, people that have done this before because it's pretty extensive. Now, being that it's rough country, it's actually all bolt on. There's no welding or anything like that. So it does make it a little bit easier because you don't have to, you know, weld, you know, brackets and stuff like that. So that's the good thing with rough country. It's pretty much the easiest install that you can get versus other companies where you have to weld different parts on, you know, especially when you get up there to the four and the six inch lifts. 
but yeah, I should mention that. If you guys have buddies that do, you know, mechanical work on the side, feel free to give them your 2.5 inch spacer lift and say, hey, what do you think? Can you put this in? Or maybe even the one with the coils and the shocks. It's just basically when you get to that 3.5 inch threshold where the lift kits is gonna be pretty extensive and you're gonna want a professional to install your lift kit. You're not just gonna want a buddy to do it because he's probably gonna mess it up. So that's pretty much it, guys. If you guys have any questions, comment down below. I try to respond to all my comments. There's gonna be a ton more Jeep videos on my current build. My last build went so freaking good and this is the reason why I'm making another Jeep is just because so many people liked what I did with my last Jeep. I was like, you know what? I'm going to make another one. I'm going to go big and I have some awesome ideas for this next build. And if you guys have ideas, just let me know. Leave some comments down below. Like this video. It really helps out the channel and I'll see you guys next time.